Hello, hello, Groove Drift J here, coming in for another game of Spirit Fairer. Fair. Uh, right now, we basically met some new faces and kind of progressed a little bit on some of our missions. Um, we met a very peculiar um, bat who kind of has like this kind of like narcolepsy like deal going on. And we're also uh, helping out our little uh friend buck with uh running his little D, D campaign for him and his friends so so let's see uh remember life we need to go negative uh 185 92. i think that's where we yeah that's where we left off negative oh sorry minor hiccup Okay, there we go. Uh, 185.92, so 185, negative 92. Right there. Alright, so hopefully we'll see things. Ring the bell for our one and only passenger. Oh, when he passed by somewhere. Or, oh, no, it's a location. Hidden Shrine. Oh, I wonder if this is where we get the power to cleanse the uh, the lighthouses. Because I know that's something that we haven't been introduced to yet. There we go. So that's one. So once we figure all this out back here, we could, uh, and also we haven't checked this corner of the map at all. So there might be like more goodies and stuff like that that we could get. All right. Oh, 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 it's the group. The Oracle's words were true. Commander, these dark words conceal a shrine of immense power. Yes, it does. Old ancient shrines have a will of their own. Imbued with the divine power of the Haltarian the Wise, they can only reveal themselves to a true heir of Ramalda. I have succeeded in my spot. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> only you, the Chosen One, can resonate with its magic. Only you, the Star Child, can weird wield the glaive of divine justice. Go, Commander. Cast your heavenly magic and whisper her the secret words. May your actions enlighten your path. Patriots on your skill check. Cast magic, chosen one, and... Ugh, dude, they go just go fast. Like, maybe when I get back to it, I could probably just <laughs> voice over the three of them. Ooh. So... We got a shrine here. Anything else on the sign? Light burst. Press Q to release the Everlight energy in all directions around you. Okay. Oh. And then remember, T pose. Come on. Or like that. Ah. So we, now let's, ooh. All right, that does a thing. Oh, I wanna to talk to these guys first. Roll crits, roll crits. <laughs> May the light be. Ah, oh, he's such a doofus down there, ah. Oh. Magical. Blessed be the eleven stars. You definitely are the chosen one. The light bearer. The sun bringer. She shall enlighten our souls and liberate our consciousness drenched in shadow. That power bestowed upon you by the very fabric of this world will be our weapon. A weapon whose power will rival the thrice forged glaive of Efulder, the first of the Dalars. At last, the party must split now. 
The Silver Company has played its role fully, and it is time for its members to ride back to their homesteads. Also, these guys are past their curfews and need to get back home. <laughs> Let's uh, trek back to the Galleon, where I shall describe our next task in great lore-dumping details. Also, I need to look again at my notes. Ooh. Got anything else to see? I am Elprin, the Ranger. As leader of the Silver Company, I am honored to meet you. I'm Jerome. The latest character. I'm Jerome, and my latest character is Em. Em Darrell. I have told you about the changes I made to the mountain combat in the latest Compendium. We really need to talk about it. Ooh, yeah, that's cool. It's me, Orderic the Bard. I sing, I sing song, cast spells, and smoke the pipe. But mostly, I smoke the pipe. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's funny. All right, so I'm gonna go back on the boat, and I'm gonna take a quick peek at the map, just to make sure we have. Oh, and it's a new location. Oh, and we could uh, take this guy and go back out and uh, help Jackie. Okay, so it's just a shrine now. And let's go say hello to our little onion friend. We haven't seen him in a while. Oh, and we got tomatoes. I'm gonna farm these before the before the uh, sheep gets any wise ideas. Yeah, onion. And another onion. And a third onion. Yeah, I just like onions. Like, especially like Walla Walla sweets. You like fry them up with some bacon grease and put them onto a pierogi. Ooh, really good. All right. Ah, I've got a favor to ask. Yes, yes. Me, a favor. I want it must be for you. Nobody must ask you for favors on this giant boat of yours. Listen, as a wandering merchant, I'm always looking for the next customer. I can't really do the simple things in life. I always need to be ready. Now, I have an important errand for you. I need, I need you to get my groceries. I know, I know. I just can't live off of fish and seagulls for eternity. <laughs> Go have a look. My grocery list might seem strange to you, as I assure you it's very common where I'm from. Let's see. Zip away. Some of the older ones. Peaches and cream, sparkles and dyes. We haven't done this one, but... Oh, we need XP potions and ectoplasm. We definitely need the diamonds for some of the other stuff that we have. We can get opals. Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to get a field seed sampler pack. Okay, where's the... A treasure map. Diamonds and a Ooh, but we don't have that. But what we do have. Wait, uh. Yeah, was it a curtain? Get so many glims. And I love your odd seeds. I always love getting odd seeds from this guy. Let's see. Are you a shenanigan? Or are you a request? Nah. Okay. So we could get a treasure map if we get some diamonds, but we kind of want to use diamonds for other stuff. But Commander, I must say, sadly, bequeath you with grim knowledge. I need to shed anguish light on your essential mission. We cannot defeat the primeval, e primeval evil powers of the Lich God Gore Nimloth by ourselves. We must rally our, our cause and free the people of the three continents. You shall light the fires of Tondor. We will trek through the treacherous waters of the Great Sea and illuminate the sky, sending our heroic message. The fires of Tondor might be known to you already. Cradle of Light of Cels, the Tower of Radiance, where you met me and your humble narrator. Yep, that was where we met him. Then the most conspicuous fire of Tondor is nested at the heart of the Galley of Sins. Finally, the last fire of Tondor is hidden atop the eternal ice spire, concealing its pure white light. But, Commander, you have to know that our roads will be all but safe. I must warn you of the great danger possessed of the Orcs of Shadows. The Orcs of the Shadowsteel Clan. Their master, the War Chief Omgrothog, the One Eye, is Gorl uh, Nemos Vassal. Vassal. 
Surely the orcs will maneuver to ambush us at the faintest of opportunities. In fact, quick, roll initiative. One, fumble, ah, man. And we don't have a bonus for that. Man, this is what we get when we don't have decks. <laughs> You're completely taken by dis surprise. The orcs jump from the shadows and bellow ugly roars. The Shadowsteel clan will devour your innards, shout. Uh, Komakota, the orc chieftain. Ready yourself, and commander. Some of these foes will be protected by Gorlemos nefarious magic. Only your light burst ability can shatter their protection. May the fight begin. Oh. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, no. Where are they hiding? Oh, there's one. Uh, oh, there's one down there. Uh, where's that next one? Oh, there's... Oh, this is it. Oh, we gotta use that on the ones. So we run into the ones that are regular, but then when we see the... See the magic ones. So this is how we get the XP potions. There's one all the way up there. Oh, there you Fantastic. Crawling through the debris, the wounded and vanquish. Komakota ex expirates himself from the field. I will be back and stronger and crueler. In a shriek, the rooted orc va vanishes from the remnants. This was astounding, Commander. Your fight aptitude is exceptional, but there is not a minute to waste. Cowering deep in the caves, the orcs of the Shadow Steel Clan are grouping and planning their revenge. Quick, to the fires of Tondor! Alright. Yep, yep, those are the three spots, but we want to check uh, Jackie first, because he, she's they she's been calling so it'll be fair to just kind of give her a peek see over here oh it's you phew i'm actually relieved i see when i started smelling like so when it started smelling like so far i really thought the volcano was about to go off or perhaps i was having a stroke <laughs> luckily it's only smellbert's natural bo ah don't be like that we're helping you out haha <laughs> Anyway, thanks for coming so quickly. As you can see, I'm swamped again, and the hospital's main power converter just shut down. Again. I swear the crap management puts us through. Don't worry, it happens all the time. The hospital's running off the backup generator for now, but that one goes AWOL well. Yeah, let's not think about that. An electrician really should be fixing the main power converter, but I managed just fine until now. It's simple, really. Just take this key and unlocks the elevator to the far east of the hospital. Once you're up there, you gotta find the fuse box and uh, just press all the buttons until you hear a noise. That's what I what I usually do. Thanks for the help. All right, I know exactly where we're going, so let's see if we could get there in a little boop. Yeah, here we go. Aha. Alright. Alright, there we go. And we also got Oh, and we could cheat and go all the way up here. Oh hey! Hi! What's your... Daria. Ah. Wait. Hug. Hug. 
Aww, so cute. Enough. Hug, well, please, stay away. Talk, are you back? Yes, 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 you are. I have to remember. I must make it stick. Clues and hints, they give you away. Yes, I'll remember. The weight of your music and all of your noises. Dead giveaways. You couldn't keep away, could you, Stella? I think the giant told you to stay off. Ah, he told you to stay away. He did, did he not? After your last visit, he ripped the melody. Oh, maybe the... Oh, is it Jackie? Hopefully it's not Jackie. I don't want Jackie to be the one. He ripped the melody. Clean off the wall. Next morning, it was back up. Hmm. You did not see it? I see. It seems like I have still have a lot to learn. Or maybe I'm getting worse. Hmm. I have thought it through. Your anchor. I've decided that it is not a sharp thing. It's dull and heavy. It is... Comforting? It is no... Uninteresting. You play your battered guitar with rooted confidence. And you call for me. The ocean grows calm. There are... Um, noises. The cries. They become muffled, like in a thick fog. You're wrong, Stella. You spent so much time numbing others to their pain. Well, you've numbed yourself. Aww. Oh, and that's why we're kind of on this journey. Because it's like, all these people were people that died. Maybe in the hospital. And like, Stella was... Was like, like at least a nurse. So. Numbed yourself. Well then. When you play Stella. My melody. When you play it, it's dumbed down. A solid chunk. Dense pl platitudes and... But... Still not your fault. Sometimes I dream, yes. In my long nights, I dream of an old friend, an instrument, strange yet familiar. A delicate sh schooner with masts of crystal and sails of warp steel. And when it was caressed by the watery breeze, it wails softly. Oh, is it like a wind chime? A haunting yet comforting music. Yes, this is the instrument my melody is for. With it, perhaps I could sail freely. Hmm. I'm tired now. Please. Please leave. Oh, here. Have some food. Um, let's see. What food? Uh, do you like berry pie? No. I need something fresh. Delicate. Oh. So she's a fruit bat? You like peaches? Fresh, delicate, juicy, delicious fruit. Thank you. Why don't she hangs on like a little? <laughs> just like. Just... Oh, that's so cute. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So she likes fresh fruit. Alright. So now that we kind of... Do we have... X... Francis, the wandering merger about... Ooh. Alright. We might learn some new stuff. Oh, and also we need to remember. Aha. Oh, we got a diamond. That's nice. We could use that. Now... Over here, I see the main power is back on. Super! Did you use my patented smash every button randomly technique? I swear I could be an engineer. Their job is a joke. <laughs> the whole engineering thing is a scam anyway. It's just wires and French kissing other wires. We get it. Another way for rich people to keep the rich while sh shitting on us pores from their ivory towers? Oh, I don't think that is the case. We should organize, start a revolution or something, you know? To take arms, comrades, and shit. I should write a pamphlet one of these days. A proper one, like political and stuff. Sometimes when I'm in the shower, I have these thoughts. 
you wouldn't believe. Just great stuff. Hmm. But I guess I really can't take the time off. <laughs> this whole place would just fall apart without me. I can't just do that the to these people, right? Uh, that stinks. Not as much as you, but still, pretty smelly stuff. Hey, thanks, Stellars. I always got... As always, you're a pearl. I got it from here. Oh, here we go. We could give you... Oh, okay. Uh, do we have... Dislikes healthy food. Can we give him cheese? Right on. Thanks for the meal. I was starving. Uh... Oh, and then a hug. Don't forget hugs. We got to give hugs. Oof, yeah. Can do that. All right. So now let's... See if there's any new stuff in the Snackatron. Nope. Okay. So now we're off. Oh, hey, we were looking for you. Let's see, young lady, how I appreciate your visits. I always some treasure for old Francis. Francis here. What have you brought to my adoration today? Oh, nothing. You're you're looking for something from my collection. How very queer. Well then, let's hear it. An instrument. My instrument. My instrument connection is immense, dear. You have to be more precise. A delicate schooner with mast of crystal and sails of warped steel. How very poetic and intriguing. Very well. Let me think. Let me think. Aha. Yes, I do have such one such instrument. Although I do not know its name, I figure it's quite rare. I wouldn't normally part with such a prize fine, but to tell you the truth, it's become quite bothersome to carry around. Its glass rods and delicate frat are, are its glass rods are delicate and fragile. I just need to clear a wide berth around it just to make sure it doesn't break. Just imagine what wonders I could tightly pack in the space it currently occupies. Yes. Very well, it's decided. I will give the instrument to you. Not for free though. This here is a raft raft is uh, this here raft is not charity. As usual, consult the available errands for my specific rates. Uh Oh, okay. Uh clear glass and steel sheets. Okay, we could probably make that. Uh clear glass and steel sheets. Uh Clear glass. Okay, we could do that. And steel sheet. And one more steel sheet. Yeah. Like, I wonder if he's, like, making, like, a like a cupboard or something like that with it. Like, you know, with, like, the glass front. Or maybe, like, a, like, one of those jewelry shells with, like, that's all surrounding glass so you could show but not touch. So, I have your Aaron. Alright, so, I thought we were going to go out and do stuff, but we're going to go right back in and just say hello to our baddie friend. And oddly enough, we're going to do the thing where it's faster to go this way, technically. Oh. Oh, no. Okay. Maybe it's not that much faster. Oh, hey. Ha. Movement tech. Oh, no, no. Ah. <laughs> oh, I was too goofy and silly for my own good. Okay. Uh, it's going to take a little bit longer now. All right. Now, we're going to do this the normal way. Oh. Meow. Alright, so, got your instrument. 
want to give you... Oh, there's a hundred tomatoes. Wait. Oh, we're delivering fake tomatoes. All right, so strange instrument. So, assembled from a long glass rods and steel resonator. Hmm. All right. Oh, is that? It's, yes, the instrument from my dream. How oddly familiar, how comforting. I think, Stella, that I once knew how to play it. My, my memories are hazy. Or rather, my memories are too many. And I know better than to trust them. So many lifetimes, far too many to fit in this tiny life of mine. But this instrument, I know it, I'm sure of it. Thank you for the gift. Here's payment for your services. Leave me alone now. I got some practicing to do. And when you come back, perhaps I'll play for you. Oh, an opal. How's your moon? Recently hugged. Uh, feels cared for. Yay! Dar Daria! Alright. Now let's go on to a grand quest to light the fires. Went a little too far. There we go. So, we have three spots that we could go to. But for starters, we're going to go to there. So, North Sea, Sandwich, Walk, and Akirishima. Oh! What the hell? I told you to not talk with Daria. Oh. She's mad. And why you give her an instrument? What the hell is your problem? Get your ass here. Sap. Ah. Uh, I don't want to go back right now. I don't really like that conversation. I'm going to work on just doing my little D&D &D thing. So, you know North Sea is one. So, North Sea is... Yeah, North Sea Pier. Right here. There's a rare chest here for some reason. Like, there might be. So we. Uh, All right, let's see if we could just. Oh, that's bright. That is bright. Yeah, that's still locked. Let's see. Isn't there something over here? Oh, yep. Yeah, that is bright. So... I know we could make it to the top of this, and then I think we had, like, trying to jump. So maybe if I do this, I might be able to get enough distance to get on. Yes? Yeah, there we go. Diorama and metal rope. 
Hey, buddy. I swam here. I've been training for weeks and weeks. Can you believe it? I made it here all by myself. Just me in the water. They told me I could. it couldn't be done. Well, who's laughing now? Me. I hope they find a neat nickname for me in the paper. Something like... Sea Legs Michael? Fishman Mikey? Mike Finn? I'm, I'm no good. I'll let them make it up. Journalists have some great ideas sometimes. I hope they could take a good picture of me. One where you could really see my muscles. <laughs> you should probably be... Or I should probably be flexing. Oh, I can't wait. Ah. Alright, so we got one done. Oh, and he's sighted. Wonderful. You did it, Commander. The first fire has been lit, and you can hear the hopeful chants of the free people from afar. Your worth is grander than the mightiest arm of Rokthador, the paladin. The moonbirds of Wa Iran will soon sing your praises in all the languages of Ramalda. But, Commander, as bright as your moment of joy can shine, we have uh, to remain vigilant. Uh, Gomakota and his lackeys will probably be alerted by the sight of this glorious flyer. And, lurking in the branches, roll initiative! Fifteen! Great! Amidst the squalor of the exotic foliage, you can clearly decipher a group of orcs and goblins progressing towards your encampment. Getting closer. Springing from their retreat, they jump on you. Fight! Where are they at? Oh, there we go. Alright, so we get a little bit of glimpse every time we hit one, but then if we hit the shadowy ones with our light, we uh, get the XP potion. Oh, one over here. Ah, I missed it. Ah, I missed that one too. Oh, we got two in a row. Oh. Goblin archer. Oh, and all the way over here. Oh, no. Dang it. Not a lot of XP potions on that one, but... Victory! That dust from... The dust from what was an epic battle barely settles. Layers upon layers of evil carcasses litter the ground of the battlefield. You are exhausted, but once again, victorious! Make a perception check! 14! Success! As you observe your defeated enemies, you can only wonder where... Gomgota lies. He is nowhere to be seen. His pathetic retreat doesn't surprise you. He is a follower of Gor uh, Nemloth, after all, and his cowardice is notable. Quick, let us rise, post haste. Ooh, I wonder if this is an allegory. Like, maybe it's him running away from everything? Or run away from conflict? Alright, so we want to... Yeah, we haven't done the Hirakashima Lighthouse, so we'll travel down to here. Hey. <laughs> Alright. Then we could just climb up through here. What the? Oh, and there's a crane up here. I wonder what that crane means. 
check down here. I don't think we... No, nothing down there. Like it's kind of nice having the the bounce ability or not the bounce ability like the dash ability so you could just like fly around superb as the second fire of tondor is lit clamors of exaltation spread throughout the vast expanses of the kingdom the chosen one has arrived she who bears the light will help us all glory to the commander glory to halor your heart is filled with such grandiose acclamation. Your soul irradiates with serenity, but your mind remains watchful and perceptive. You know, you know that, stirred by an upheaval that marks their near demise, the orcs of the Shadow Steel Clan must be closing in on your position. And, lo and behold, roll initiative! Ooh, 20! Yeah! Critical! Without a moment of hesitation, you jump into the fray. Taking by surprise the approaching uh, phalanx of orc fighters, you ready yourself to mow through them with deftness and style. Fight! Oh. Oh. Okay, I can't use my dash ability on those because... Oh, no. It's like, I'm not supposed to use my dash ability, and then immediately use my dash ability. There's one up there. Yeah. Can I get this one? Can I get this one? Yeah. I want to level up, baby. I want extra feats. I want extra attack. some got some extra xp potions oh where do you say and then i like the kind of like little added background like a mix all the darkness you can kind of see him flying around which kind of like insinuates that he's like going around setting up these little encounters what a fight they didn't stand a chance what remains of their shattered dark armors is promptly blown away by the swift northern wind Commander, you're victorious once again. And this time, Gomota couldn't oppose your strength and was heroically slain. The orcs of the Shadowsteel clan shall henceforth tread your might, Commander. Cunning, they will have to prove to even attempt to find you. But let's not dwaddle a second more. Your goal is within grasp, Commander. Let's set sail again. On to the ultimate fire of Tondor. Alright, so the last one... I remember seeing it on like this billboard island. So we're gonna travel to the bus stop first. Alright, so somewhere around here is my egg burrow. Not floatsum. Yep, sandwich walk. So we wanna be here. Yeah, and I'm gonna take like a meandering path so we don't have to deal with anything. Although I'm wondering what else we could do with this light power other than lighting stuff. Oh, here it is. Everything slid up. You have anything to say? 
Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Here, I'm gonna... Oh, is it just the chickens? Yeah, it's probably just the chickens. Sublime! At last, the world erupts in elation. All the fires have been lit. Tondor has arisen. The Lich God Nord uh, Nemloth is the one who's on the verge of being defeated once more. But what is it? What is this terrible ruckus to hear? A thousand warhorns roar at once. Could it be? Faithfully, yes. The final assault of the Shadow Steel Clan, led by the one eye Omgrothog himself, clad in the eldritch armor of Rongmar. Omthrothog uh, points his loathsome blade at you. You won't escape me this time, you miserable maggot. I will destroy you in the hopes of this world. Trembling in fear and ap apprehension, you gather your inner strength to face the enemy. Make a courage check. 18. Success. The orc won't scare you, for you are the light bearer, the chosen one. Now the time has come for you to show them what you are made of. Fight! Oh. Can I get a two for? Come on, come on. Yeah. Ah, uh, I only got one. <laughs> and their little angry faces. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Getting a lot more this time. Oh, I could have just waited a little longer just to... Anymore? Is it? You had enough? You had enough, you orcs? Oh. Unimaginable. Oh. Through the thick mist of the aftermath. Hmm. A silhouette barely discernible against the terrifying backdrop of a gargantuan battle. All free people of the world are holding their breath, hearts pounding in their chests. A deafening silence creeps in as the atmosphere thick as rock. Victory! The Chosen One has triumphed. She who bears the light has conquered. In a crack of sound of terror, Gornemoth's uh, shadow stops immediately its course over the darkened sky. The Lich God is no more. May the Radiant Fae bless our souls. May Haller forever watch over your path. May the graces of Imalda sing your praises of, for eons to come. The world is saved. And now, jaded but jolly, the hero stands up once more. Looking at the horizon, her heart fills with hope, her resolve stronger than ever. A chapter of her adventures might be completed, but her story is far from over. Rejoice, free people of the world, for the Chosen One will be back. But for now, she will rest her heavy shoulders, unload her burden, and once more gaze into the stars. <laughs> Hot damn, I'm tired. Congrats! Woo! You did it, Stella. Okay, now if you don't mind, I need to take a break. I'll take some time to think about what great adventure we could do next. A space opera with lasers and spaceships? A post-apocalyptic road war setting? Or a horrific eldritch adventure with cosmic horrors, maybe. We'll see. Yeah! Woo! Oh, I need to take a look. Oh, I need to take a little nap. You take a little nap. Alright, so now we got that handled. Now we gotta deal with Jackie. 
Yay, I've been I've been looking forward to talking with Jackie after she got mad at us. Oh. Alright. What? What in the shit are you looking at, huh? I didn't do nothing wrong, alright? It was the gosh darn psycho nutcase up there. She just lashed out on at me. She's a lunatic. I've said it for years. Oh, Jackie, no. You should just pump her full of pills and be done with it. Oh, no, no, no. That's... I ain't gonna let that slide. No answer, huh? That's what I thought. Bunch of freaking losers. Huh? What? Oh, you're there. Final frickingly. What took you so long? We were checking out the birds and the pretty clouds on the way here. Uh, really? Well, I could have just used your help for once. Oh, you want to know what happened, don't you? I'll tell you what happened. You happened. I told you she was unstable. I told you she needed to be left alone. But no, you couldn't just leave it to the professionals. Little Miss Perfect just has to stick her nose in everyone's business. Oh, and then like Jackie's theme is kind of disjointed right now. Yeah, all just like scattered around like nothing synced up. Okay. She was already crazy to begin with, and you give her that psycho instrument? Made with glass and sharp steel? Are you out of your goddamn mind? So yeah, I go in and I try to take it for her, and then... And then... Whatever. This job is not about you, Stella. It's a, not about feeling good. It's about safety. It's about keeping us safe from these morons. And keeping them safe from themselves. What? Calm down? You calm down! I swear this freaking place. I can't take it anymore. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I won't take it anymore. More. Because I quit. Ha! You can all go to hell. And you, have a fun taking care of these idiots. So long, shit thing. And don't bother calling. I won't answer. Dang. I'm quick. I heard her. I heard all of that. That orderly, Jackie. He's always been a loose cannon, but he's gone too far this time. Things are really bad out here. He's the worst things to happen since over happened to Overbrook since the mandatory nighttime slop. I can't believe what he did to Daria. She's usually so quiet. She keeps to herself. She only had one thing, her music. And well, she fought to protect it. She would Oh, she was talking about Jackie, about the giant coming in and taking her stuff and taking her music. Oh, what a mess. The place has really fallen into in some hard times. We need better living conditions. We need fresh meals. We need proper medical care. We are here to be cured, not forgotten or ill-treated. I'm not waiting for, on the staff, not even our, on management. I'm taking matters into my own hands. Yeah, power to the patients. But I'm going to need some help. Possibly by someone with a boat and people skills. What do you say? You don't need to answer. I just know you're already in. Alright, let's start. Here's a list of potential candidates. You'll need to find capable people. We can't have this situation happening again. I'm counting on you. Alright, let's see. Shenanigans. Oh, there's a tomato juice vendor. Oh, no, no, that's a different one. Freeze Company. So, recruit a chef from Overbrook in Hosekai Shikori, a foreman in South Point Docks, and a gardener in Villa Magor. All right. Here, I want to check up on our, our little baddie friend. Hopefully, she's all right. I hear I don't see your instrument anywhere can we can we coax you down with a song Yeah. 
Or maybe she's only up at night, maybe? Alright, but we need to fix this place because how things are is not okay. But man, like, Jackie was like completely out of my out of her mind in that last uh, encounter. Just like completely snapped. Like, yes, we did kind of give uh, uh, the bat the instrument and like she was like mentally unstable because of her condition, but like how she reacted and how she handled that situation was completely out of line. So, but hopefully we could fix things with like getting some actual help and actual decent people to help out. So, Villa Magor, where, like, a lot of this mess started. We have a gardener over here. Hey, you want a garden for it? You're back. It's been a minute. <laughs> Me? No, I've been fine. Not lonely at all. Just fine. I got this little shack. My things are in there. My toothbrush, my dry socks. I've got it going on. Yeah, my life is pretty great. Hmm. It's good to keep checking up on me. I'm totally fine. Been fine for a while now. Nothing says fine like living out here, next to an empty mansion. Sleeping in this tiny shack. Hmm. No running water. No electricity. Hearing the squirrels having fun at night. It's the best. Hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I give up. I am lonely. Hmm. So very lonely. I got nobody of my own. <laughs> I hate being by myself. No one listens to my jokes. Oh. Knock knock. Who's there? No one. It's terrible. Oh. You gotta help me out. I might start knitting at any time. You gotta go find me a better job than this. Oh. I need a better roof than this one. I can see the stars but the birds can also watch me sleeping. I see. That's interesting. I never heard of Overbrook. And it comes with free room and board? Hmm. Well, I can't say no to that. I've already spilled the beans about being miserable and lonely. Coincidentally, I'm also spilled the beans on my sleeping bag. So the timing couldn't be more perfect. <laughs> you got me. I need to start being less honest. <laughs> okay, I'll go. Let me pack my things and say goodbye to my woodland friends. I'll meet you at Overbrook. Yeah, we got a buddy. Let's go. So we got one guy down. Uh, Where's our next destination? Hosekai's Quarry. I believe Hosekai Quarry is one of these ones. Oh, yeah, Hosekai right there. Uh, quickest spot to do it from. Oh, no, we need to go to where, where, where did we park? Where did we park? We parked somewhere around here. Oh, here we are. Ooh, we haven't checked in on, uh, our buddy in here for a while. Oh, hey, Stella. Wow, I'm impressed. Your playstyle has been so good so far. I mean, your spells could be a bit more optimized for sure, but but your roleplay is fracking A. Even Bob was impressed. And yeah, we never had a girl at the table before. <laughs> We're happy that you're here. I'm really happy. I'll try and finish the campaign to the best of my ability. More NPCs, more background elements, more magic items. Oh, you know what? We're going to start this quick little event. Because if you could get a couple more XP potions. Do, do, do. Oh, there we go. All right. Oh, and there's another one down there. Oh, there you are, little... Gotcha. Oh, can I get this one? No, I just missed it. Okay. So maybe till the next one.
Or, okay, I think I need to hit some of these guys in order to get some of the other ones going. Oh, we got a double for that. Oh, can we get this one? Yeah. Get a double for that. Oh, missed that one. Get some XP potions. Need to level up. Yeah, we got our XP potions for Albert for the upgrade. But we still need to find one more diamond. And I only know one person that who has a diamond in their repertoire, which is uh our friend. Ooh, mushrooms. So somewhere in here. Uh we need to find a chef. So someone in here cooks. Are you a cook? No. Ooh, and we got movement abilities. I remember there's some spots that we can get. Hmm. There we go. Yeah. Get some more goodies. Some opals and cherry seeds. Oh, and there's another one up there. So. Oh, nope. I had to let it recharge. Alright, so let it recharge. And... There we go. Aha! More goodies. Oh, and he got... Oh, three diamonds. So we got it for like all of our stuff that we need them for. All right, so now we need to find a chef hidden, hidden in the quarry. Are you a chef? No. Maybe I think there was a guy that had a hidden book, a hidden library. Oh, wait. Oh, I've been working on this mine since I was born. My mom worked here. My dad worked here. My granddad. Well, you get it. I don't know if I ever, uh, I don't know if I would ever leave. Hmm. hmm. Twook at the Overbrook Hospital? In the kitchen? Hmm. I see. Cooking is like hitting rocks? Are you sure? Those two things sound very different. Hmm. <laughs> we make a compelling argument. Oh, dang. <laughs> you sure have a way of with words. <laughs> and that voice. Well, I'm sold on the idea. I'm sure all the other workers will be too. Trouble is, we can't just up and leave. We need people to cover our posts. Wait. Wait? I've got it. Wait. No, I just lost it. Wait? No, wait, I got it. What if instead of people we use dummies? We just need to dress up some scarecrows filled with hay and stuff in our work clothes. <laughs> They'll look like regular employees, but they won't move. I'm sure the Raccoon Inc. Mining Company won't know the difference. Yeah! <laughs> Plus, as an added benefit, dummies don't need to eat. Fewer lunch breaks and more productivity. <laughs> it's a win-win situation. They won't talk back either. Oh. oh. Eh, dang it. I hit space instead of... Uh, uh, long. Uh, where were we? All right. It's a win-win situation. They won't talk back either. They'll be the perfect employees. We just need to find some material to stuff in the, those dummies. So you should go out and get everything. Some wood, some linen, and a couple carrots. Yeah, that should could work. Oh yeah, this is totally great plan. I can't wait to start hitting, hitting food and make real culinary art. Come back when you have all the materials. 
I think we have them. So. Oh, how much do we need? Oh, we just need one more linen. Do we have linen seeds? Wait, is it... Oh, is it linen seeds or linen fabric? So, we could, yeah, we could just make it and come back here. I have your dummy materials. So, good job. You got it all. I'll get everyone together and we'll make the dummies. We'll make them look real. <laughs> Raccoonique Mining Company won't be able to tell the difference. When they realize that all the mining operations have stopped, it will be too late. We'll be free and ready to make some nice cannoli. Thanks for this new exciting career opportunity. See you in the kitchen at Overbrook. Alright, so they're already gone. Alright, and we want to travel... To see our friend Albert. Let's see. See what a fully upgraded ship entails. Ugh. And then a little. Alright, let's. Here, let's check on Bucky. He hasn't been talking in a while. Oh! Where'd Bucky go? Bucky! Bucky! Where you at, Buckarino? Lucky. Oh, there you are. Here, how about some... Fisherman's pie. By the lords of Iron. My Mother Chance is surely on my cha side. Commander, this old-fashioned meal is incredibly delicious. Delicious, I say. And then, like, her little daily affirmations. Just a little hug. Uh... Oh, wait, move. Oh, Harvest's XP potions. That's nice to hear. Maybe help us out, like, with, like, some of our last upgrades, because I believe XP potions was, like, the last thing that we got. Oh, ho. You, you've got a cow on your boat. That's neat. <laughs> Do you know why have cows have hooves instead of feet? Because they lack toes. <laughs> like lactose and milk. All right. Yeah. Okay. That's that's one I haven't heard before. Upgrade, and finally the final upgrade. Right? Anything else that we could throw on? Oh, that's it. Fully upgrade. Huh? Welcome back to the shipyard, Sela. Tell me. Okay, so there's nothing really over there. Just had to check because I haven't checked before since I <laughs> started playing this game. But we have a fully upgraded ship, so... Dang! Like, here, let's take a look here. Like, look at that. That is a massive ship. Like, I remember, like, when we... Had like a little more leeway in between these two poles, but now we're like touching each side of them. All these like history of like all these like uh, people that we've met, but then had to let pass away through the Everdor. Like it's nice. It's nice just to see the progress. A little sad when you think about it, but nice. All right. So the last place we need to go to is South Point Docks, which I believe is somewhere over here yeah right here so the quickest spot to come in or actually it might just be quicker just to or actually no go to here uh safe travel mode oh no nope not that safe travel mode and boop. Yeah, 
here. I want to see how fast our bow is from the map. Oh. Okay. Oh, Jackie. Dear Stella. Uh, Daria has recently requested that you visit at your earliest. Oh, this isn't Jackie. This is a, a lot nicer because Jackie's tends to be like short hands it earliest convenience regards overbrook's caretaker yeah 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 okay nice little detail like just to see like the difference between the two all right hey we're here so we're looking for a foreman oh and let's double check just to make sure we don't have uh any goodies hiding there yeah I think we got everything off the island so right now it's just trying to find the foreman to replace which oh here we go ah I'm a bit busy right now miss one of my guys got his hands cut off yesterday oh dang yeah, I know. There's quite a bit of paperwork. If Mike wants to ha wants his hospital bills paid, he needs to sign this thing from the corporate office. It's pretty boilerplate, le boilerplate legal stuff. Saying Mike won't sue if they pay his medical bills. Anyways, the doctors are reattaching his hands right now, so he'll be able to sign it soon enough. I know. Apparently, doctors can do that. <laughs> what is the... What was the name of this his doctor again i don't remember his name but i know where he lives why because he kept saying it over and over he was very proud of his uh, penthouse in old central district <laughs> it was weird i was in the operating room and as a representative of the company the doctor kept talking about his hot tub and his million dollar watch reminding us that he was the best doctor in the whole wide world all of that while reattaching Mike's two hands. It was pretty wild. <laughs> I was just thinking, can you stop talking and concentrate reattaching my buddy's hands? <laughs> anyway, Mike's gonna be okay. He'll be back to work soon. The company only offers five sick day days a year and he already took a couple just to take care of his daughter. Hands or no hands, Mike will be in tomorrow. Oh, dang. No. This, this is too real, no. Please don't do this. <laughs> hmm. And I guess his doctor will be in a penthouse in Old Central District. What an odd world. Okay, so we need to find Old Central District. All right. That's easy enough. All right, so he's in a penthouse and I know of one penthouse on Oxbury. So we're going to have to climb all the way to the top. All right, here we go. All right, I'm going to go up higher by going this way. Overshot. So maybe I should. Oh, that was close. Okay. So maybe I should start with the long jump and then. There we go. Uh, is this the penthouse? Oh, stop right there. Wait, what? You're looking for a doctor? Well, look no further. You found him. You found me. You know, I'm a world-renowned hand surgeon. I've been on talk shows. I've been recognized in malls. I own a 600-gallon hot tub. <laughs> oh, the hot tub he was talking about. That's a big hot tub. <laughs> I always, always tropical and ready for when this doctor comes home. 
After a hard day of doing what surgeons do, I need to relax. Relax my hands in the warm, bubbling water. That is the life of the prestigious doctor. I'm known for my impeccable surgery skills and for being punctual. I've always on time because of this watch. It cost me so much money, I don't want to say. It was encrusted with rare diamonds. It was triple retrograde torbillion. Well, I can see I lost you there. I bought it as a gift for myself after my fourth marriage. Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Now, back to you. You need a doctor? For Overbrook? I thought that place closed down. And it's so far away. Why would I ever work in a place like that? For money? I do it for more money. No one ever says no to no to more money. I just love buying myself new things. When I'm not at work, I shower myself with expensive gifts. Such is my nature. I would consider it for mm, ten thousand glims. Oh yeah, that's chump change for me now. Upfront, no bi-weekly payments. Glims only. A, a one-time offer. Deal? Well, well. I can hear the money sloshing around in your pockets. Work it over if you still want me to work for that awful Overbrook. Alright? Yeah. Well, just like that. You got yourself a deal. I'll start by prepping my move. I'll tell my job that I'm moving up to a better gig. Hmm. Overbrook doesn't sound too exciting. I might just lie and say I'm going to a more reputable hospital. Well, see you around. Thanks for the money. Oh, can I talk to him still? I'll start packing. Okay. Alright, so double check. Yep. Talk to this person. <laughs> oh. Let's see if you could save Overbrook. Alright, nothing in there. And do, 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 do. we could talk to Daria up there. Hey, thank you so much for helping out. This really means a lot. We might just be be patients here, but that doesn't mean we have to be treated this way. This just goes to show you. Sometimes good people just need to step in. People not doing their jobs just boggles the mind. Lives are literally in your hands. It's just so... I'm getting worked up here. Breathe. So things are already looking up. The kitchen is making some strides in the food department. No one has gotten food poisoning in the past few days. So that's a plus. I saw some fancy pants doctors doing the rounds. One of them was really obnoxious, but he, that's better than no doctors. Oh, and you might have noticed that there isn't random trash just littering the halls. <laughs> Maintenance is keeping the grounds clean. That's just about does it. I won't keep you. Thanks again. Don't be shy around these parts. Alright, that's good. Now let's just check to... Check our favorite little root rat. Daria. You really are here. I asked for you. I asked the guards, no, no, the, the guardians? Hmm, this room felt like a cage. And now I'm told that I'm free. Free? Uncertain. The freedom might be a trick, I thought. Sinking of the light, a twisted mirror, a... Eh? No. You're here. Magic. I am... I... Ah. Thank you for coming. I am not as I was when we last uh, last we met, Stella. You see, I'm adrift on an ocean of my own making. And I've come to realize that. That I cannot produce the words. I shout them over the endless expanse of water. Where they die down to whispers and insignificant ripples. And, and I believe that you can still hear them. You are the one who listens, who knows how to listen. You can illuminate the ocean's starless nights. The instrument you have gifted me and... Ah, 
You remember my song, don't you? Please go outside and play it. It shall guide me. I believe you will understand. Oh. Here. As here. Have us a probably gave you some food. Do you like Pear? Fresh, delicate, juicy, delicious fruit. Thank you. And it's just like nice. She gets on this little Oh, and is that like supports her back when she eats? And like I noticed like all the spirits they have like little flowers tied to them and then like when they pass they like give you the flowers like here's a hug <laughs> a strong grip a warm heart oh uh, yeah she is she is feeling a lot happier all right now we need it oh Oh, when you first climbed up the tower, you saw only a fragile thing, deserving of care and empathy. You did not see the steely bonds with, with which the giant has stilled me. And neither did you see the tumultuous sea underneath, and how I grew angrier and angrier in accordance to the giant's fickle spirits. No, you s saw the pain and the neglect and the neglected the wound. Oh. This is tr Oh. Oh, is that a vibraphone, I think? Yeah, like, it was like... It had, like, tubes. And, like, crystalline, like, speakers or something like that. Mm-hmm. It is unsurprising that when... Then, that you were unready for the giant's last dying spasms. For his encounter with demons of his own, that would break his will. Unsurprising and understandable was your confusion, when the invisible but raging sea swept me away. And where, unmoored and weighted as I was, I sink into the deepest depths. Oh, wait. Ah. Oh, dang it. In these depths, I knew well and had hoped to never visit them again. Within them roamed all manners of vicious beasts, toothed, fanged, and scaled, hungrily always for suffering and pain, for doubts and memories and minds. Every single morsel to survive, I thrashed and I flailed, so much that I managed to shed my bonds along with my with strands of myself, and the beasts, as expected, promptly devoured them. Ooh. Oh. Lightened as I was, I floated back to the surface far from the beasts. It was there that gentle hands plucked me from a gentler sea. And there, as I was lying surrounded by wispy figures, neither good nor bad, I contemplated an image that had been burned into in my empty mind. For through the nest of the beast, a strange glimmer caught my eye. Remnants and wrecks from past voyages containing treasures of a past long forgotten. The Raft of the Medusa. A Radiant Spring. 
Huh. Buy new items. That experience with Daria is quite something, but I think it's helping her. Perhaps if I help improve Overbrook, she'll get even better. Can I talk to her? All right, no, leave me be. Okay, so she's feeling a little bit better. All right, hey, what did you do? Seriously? Spit it out. Terry seems to really have responded to you. I've never seen her like that, so vibrant. I don't know what you did, but it did wonders. And another thing, what's going on with Overbrook? I've worked here for ages and it never changes. Odd things have been happening ever since you came around. One minute everything is going to shit. The power is constantly going in and out. We've got rats as big as dogs. It's always raining. Then, poof, things are turning around. They're still bad, but less bad. You know, it's like, I still can't swim, but I don't have the monster-sized rats trying to eat my feet. <laughs> but you know what I think? I think all of these changes, they're related to you and that weird looking vending machine. Oh yeah, I remember that one. Don't make that face, I mean it. Listen, I never used it personally. I don't believe in money or the concept of spending said money. But whenever you use it, weird stuff happens. More good than weird. Still, it's, it's pretty weird. So I'm thinking, you should just go all out and buy a bunch of stuff from the vending machine. Really let yourself loose. If it magically brings new life to this place, who am I to stand in its way? Also, I might even cheer up Daria and everyone else in this depressing hellhole. I won't keep you. Enjoy your snacks at the vending machine. Fingers crossed for the weird good stuff. Oh, and I'm noticing like all the, 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 the paintings on the tower. Oh, this is looking good. Better. Here, let's check to see if there's any change over here. Oh, hey. Have I been enjoying my time at Overbrook? Not really. Everyone's so mean to me. They keep calling me names, like Trashy or Piles. You know, names relating to picking up trash. You probably already figured that out. I do enjoy picking up other people's trash, but it hurts. I don't like it when people call me mean names. Very few people like that, I suppose. This job would be great if they would stop talking trash to me. Oh no, I'm the one doing it now. I just want them to treat me with a little bit of respect. Or at the very least, not talk to me. Would you mind telling them to stop? That would make my days a bit better. Oh, yeah, we could do that. All right, just checking up here. So nothing really changed over on this side of the map. Hey, I got hired to from by an external firm to do some cleaning here. I don't actually work for the hospital, but I only work here. That's a bit strange, ain't it? I don't get benefits or anything like that. If I get hurt on the job, they just fire me. The other day, Marcus slipped on some fluid. Broke his wrists. The hospital didn't even want to treat him. He just went home. I haven't seen him in a while. I just know he's not on the calendar anymore. Well, I better look out for any fluid or something. Gotta be extra safe out there. Alright. Some new faces. Here, let's buy out a lot of stuff from the vending machine. Get things going. Yep, and then like it's like Charon, the the guy that we replaced, the uh the the boat taker, the boat rower for the river sticks. So oh we got some stuff here. So Radiant Spring. Oh. So how do we get more Radiant Spring? rings here here let me let me check radiant spring okay so radiant spring and chunk All right, let's. Yeah, I'm gonna check over this way see if any changes happen. Oh, things are a little nice here. There's like flowers. Flowers out. Let's see anything. Oh. 
Oh, and there's like a couple of reposted notes. Alright, so let's see if we could check with Darla, see if there's anything different happening. Or, oh, probably check some of the workers that are new here. Like, I heard they got, they're no longer serving gruel. Yeah. You gotta help us out. The kitchen's gross. I've got nothing to work with. The pans are older than my grandmother. They look like they've been through the Great War. I know I'm not a real cook, but I do have principles. You gotta find a way to help us out. Oh, wow. Hmm. Sorry for lashing out. I know it's not your fault. Jeez, it's not even your problem. Listen, do me a favor. We need to get some proper cooking going on. We've been serving what looks like dog food until now. Not the rich fancy kind, more like the discount bin stuff. We don't have any fresh produce. It's all dried up and non-perishable. Even Raccoon Inc. Mining Company wasn't that cruel. They knew that feeding your employees was at least good business. A ration a day keeps the scurvy away. <laughs> However, it's just unacceptable. I've been making some of the worst food I've ever made in my life here. I need your help. I need you to find some fresh ingredients. And a variety of stuff, too. I can't be making bread with old newspapers and toilet water. Ooh. <laughs> it just doesn't work. I don't want to make these people sicker than they already are. They need proper meals that will help them get better. To give them life juice. So... Here's a list of things I need. Don't skip the good stuff now. It would really help me out. I'm making this slop and it doesn't taste like anything. I'll take a breather and I promise I'll be calmer when you get back. Thanks. Oh, the right kind of spice. Uh... Okay, so we just need some more rice flour. Oh, jerk. Oh, and there's more stuff that... Uh, is the doctor still there? Oh. Uh... Okay, so we can't really do anything with her right now. So let's check out with... Are you a doctor? Thank you again. The work you do is a good start. Okay, so we talked with him. Where's the doctor? If you want to be a chef, you got to have a boatload of cloths. Dry cloths. Wet cloths. Wiping cloths. And I got to hang from your apron so people know you mean business. Cooking business. That's what being a chef's all about. Looking great. Right. Is it spelled hospital or hospital? Not for me, of course. I know how it's spelled. I work here. It's for uh, a friend. <laughs> yes, it's for a friend. All right, let's see. Is that you, doctor, in there? What an intense day. I got a call in the early hours. They needed my expertise. They said to come in right away. I did, and I did. I'm a real doctor. Totally real. He then just dialed the wrong number to catch me by mistake. No, ma'am. Yep, I'm gonna do fine. How hard can this be? <laughs> Why do so many people get sick? Ah, I can't really sit tell you. Hi there. Hmm. What? Old Trashy doesn't like being called names? Well, that's news to me. I really thought we had a report. I would, pr would produce trash. He would pick it up. I would call him trash-related name. Well, we had this whole bit. I'm a bit shocked, really. I'll try and be better at reading social cues next time. Hmm. I just feel awful now. What should I do? Well, money has always been the answer for me. What does Trashy? I mean, well, I actually don't know his name. I'll find out the first thing in the morning. In the meantime, I should do something nice for him. Hmm. I got it. You should give him something healthy. That always cheers me up. An apple, maybe? I know it sounds expensive, but... It's organic and healthy for you. I eat 12 a day. That's why I'm so vibrant and fit. I'm sure he'll love it. He always rambles about eating healthy and producing his own food. Who has time for that? Not me. But you know, everyone's got a thing. So here's some money, just in case. Just go see, see him with an apple. I'm sure he'll be fine after that. Thanks. Oh, dang. 
Just straight up 500 glims. Line is always long at the hospital, just part of that journey. Once inside, that's another journey. Then they're inside, and that's another one. That's just saying, your life is always a series of journeys. I can't feel my bones. Is that normal? <laughs> I had a little accident. I sneezed so hard that my dinner came out of my nose. I hope they could put it back in. I don't want to be wasteful. <laughs> All these guys. I've got a hard time remembering which spices go where. What's the difference between thyme and rosemary? Besides the name, obviously. Do I have to taste them to figure that out? I don't want to taste weird food plants. <laughs> yes, that was very chickeny. Uh, how about you? If you really think about it, we're all trash. Now, where's my guy? Where's your guy? Is this your guy? Oh, wow. What? Yeah, I don't want your dumb rich people apple. If he thinks about fruit bought with dirty money will make things better, he's completely delusional. But look at this scenery. There's a garden here now. Nature completely overtook these ruins. This looks amazing. So beautiful and uh, oh, just smell the air. So fresh. This is way better than some stupid fruit or whatever. I heard rich people's apples were actually made of recycled apples. <laughs> Mixed in with like dirty magazines, little rocks, used water, etc. You know, the gross stuff. What I enjoy about rich people is the way they spend their money. On dumb things. Well, well. I don't know about this overgrown garden popped up. I'm sure it makes my little feud with the doctor pretty inconsequential. He can call me whatever he wants. I don't care. I got a garden now. I'm clearly better than him. Whoa. Whoa, look at this splendor. Nature really makes things better, doesn't it? Yeah. Like, it does kind of look a little bit better. Uh, let's see. Oh. Oh, th oh, that's what she wants. Oh, so we're supposed to play her song around uh, different parts of the of the place. Oh. Can I? Yep. Hey. Oh, you. You're the errand person from earlier. Always running around doing things for others. Listen, you're the one that got me here. Which is great and all, but I have an issue. Listen up, whatever your name is. I didn't end up selling my penthouse. The market is quite unstable right now. No, 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 no. I want you to house sit for me. That's not it. My problem is my collection of exotic birds. My birds can't be alone for too long. They get antsy. Plus, some of them have, say, special needs. I need you to find some kind of bird babysitter. A bird sitter. Someone who likes wings and beaks, I suppose. Why can't I do it? Well, I'm rich and a busy doctor. I can't leave in the middle of surgery. With my hands all bloody. If I leave to feed my birds, who will clean the bloody hands when I'm not at the hospital? <laughs> do I need to bring an assistant at me at all times? Just because my birds need to be fed every day? I don't think so. That assistant has a life of her own. And that assistant has things to do, places to go. Why are you making my assistant do all this extra work? You need to think about other people for once in your life. So listen, you need to do two things. First up, you need to buy specialty treats for my precious birds. Cherries are your best bet. Got a bunch of those. It's probably the only good thing in this world. Next is tricky, so listen carefully. You need to find someone who's good with birds or lizards or whatever. Someone to be at my house once a day to care for my army of birds. Another doctor was telling me about service at Edgeborough Lane. Something something Lizard King? I wasn't really listening. Maybe you can look into it. I need my birds to be babysat and pampered. Is that too much to ask in these modern times? I think I met Lizard King at one point. But for now... I'm gonna check out, uh... Oh, there we go.
One memory so deeply ingrained I could never forget it. The day started... The day st I started hearing the noise. Faintly at first, then louder and louder yet. Plip. Plop. The distant drops of water that only I could hear. Perhaps I saw it as a sign. That I could no longer fit within the warm confines of the family home. And so I left, seeking the source of the noise. Oh. In the beginning of my quest, the land was gentle. I remember the tender grass and the soft wind. I kept following the sound of the droplets. At all the while, paying little attention to the waters rising at my feet. Soon enough, I was wading through murky and dark flood, surrounded by a thick fog, and yelps and growls and glimmers. Right. Ooh. Oh wait. <laughs> Need to think of things as wrapping around. From this period, there is not much to remember. A vagrancy that lasted an eternity. No dive can ever restore these memories. They have been wiped clean. Picked to the bone. It was as though they never existed. As if falling through cracks in time. Still, they were the mud and the scratches bear witness so i think she was talking about like her mental issues she has because like she is in the hospital and has this weird kind of murkiness and then like also like talking about the giant which is uh i believe jackie who basically like suppressed her as like an abusive uh nurse and just like made things worse and then, like, she's having to deal with, like, the monsters in her mind. But then, like, at a point, she's finally finding a little bit of clarity. But, like, the damage has already been done. So she's trying to pick up the pieces and figure out where she's at. Oh! <laughs> that platform disappeared right when I needed it. I needed that platform too. The waters are so high now, nothing pierces them. An endless ocean, unbearably calm. The murk has dissipated, and then the water is clearer than it's ever been. The plip plopping has stopped. Probably like medications or something like that from like an IV drip bag. <laughs> and so, with nowhere to go but down, I dive. But I must do so carefully and delicately, lest I disturb the silt that through the aeons, set into a peaceful but fragile blanket. Oh, she's out! Hi! Oh, where are you going? Ah, okay. Oh, seeing some... Oh, these buildings are all painted now and a little better. Alright. Yeah, you're still talking about your... Switch? Things are painted. Things are looking a little bit better. Alright, let's see. So we got four Radiant Springs, so we could get our next one. So, Loose Spices. Ooh. Alright. So I'm feeling... Next spot would be yonder this way. Because we already got the ones all the way over there, so. So I'm thinking over here might be another hidden spot. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, here we go. A 
Oh, this. Oh, I just love the soundtrack of this game. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. This wreck lies hidden amongst the reefs in the mud. Only a faint glow portrays its presence. It lies on its side, abandoned and forgotten. But as I get closer, the noise hits me. Voices, happy and sad. Playful bangs and clangs. Within the ship live a great many deal of faceless shades. Mother and father, unruly brothers and sisters. A cacophony that is enticing and dreadful at once. Oh, I need to go this way. Oh, didn't quite make it. Ah, gonna have to. Oh, oh, bollocks. Need to be quick on the dollar. Oh, dang it. Oh, that was close. One of the shades escaped me. It's a pro proteiform and atonal. Oh, atonal, like a uh, conflict. Insubstantial. It has a ghastly quality that I cannot easily understand, and it seems so actively resist focus. It takes some convincing for me to accept it for what it is. An echo from a previous self. Remnants, undevoured by the depths. Unaware of them, me. So like probably the memory of self, her own personality, maybe? A treasure of incommensurable value. I met it with cautious curiosity. Oh, this is like mind bending. Oh. Oh. Okay, so I gotta be quick with it. Oh. Ah, no, 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 no. Oh. There we go. Whew. That was a tricky one. And suddenly I'm filled with sadness. For I realize or remember one essential truth that perhaps I would rather not remember. That tableau before me excludes a, cha a chaotic happiness. A family brought together by conflicts and laughter. Saved. All right, and then I need to bounce back. Ah, oh, missed it. Ah, overshot. And overshot again. Okay, safe. Okay, that disappears. Okay, so... Dang it.
so I wonder if I should use my long jump just to get a little bit of oomph to get onto there. Oh. Oh, at least I get... Aha! Then I could... Double checking, making sure... Okay, those three don't disappear, so I could just... I was worrying too much about those. Alright. If at any point some all powerful painter were to judge the tableau. Oh, oh, like a canvas. Okay. Uh, and remove the ghastly lone shade from it. Nothing of that composition would be affected. Oh, no. Oh, and I noticed like that little like psychedelic effect she has on her wings too. That's pretty cool too. All right, unnoticed and untouched. Ooh, hey, here, have some food. Have a peach. Have a hug. <laughs> I just, she's just so cute. She's so cool. Can't get over how cute she is. She's just like a little gal. All right, and then there's these two things. Let's get a radiant spring. Oh dang. I really want to check things out because oh and there's trees everywhere oh my goodness all right let's see what this one entails after an eternity of drifting this place took me in you would not have recognized me. Sunburned and cracked, bursting at the seams. A mind bloated with the muddy thoughts of the self and of the other. Useless and treacherous, brought back from the depths. Ooh. Oh yeah, things are getting a little more trippy now. Alright, so I need it. Disappears. They bound me here with a course of moorings, and when I roared and thrashed and raved, they only tightened the bonds. Oh, 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 this is her experience in the hospital. Basically, like, being ill and, like, not having, like, having, like, issues remembering or understanding herself. But then, like, when she lashed out, they just go like, oh, she's being problematic. More medications, walk her away, and stuff like that. Brutish methods. But as I come to understand, efficacious ones. For while they could not see the raging ocean, within its winds and tempests, and with its waves that I was forced to breathe in, leaving me hurt and sickly, they seemed to understand that I should not be allowed to sink. This was a trip that I would not survive. Yeah. Alright. Oh, dang. Okay, so that's...
Okay, the time is off. So I probably need to wait for an opening. Or can I reach it from here now? Oh, that was tricky. Saved it in the time. Things have changed now. The new caretakers, they are different. Nary a sound. They move graciously. They wear soft gloves and velvety shoes. They secretly busy themselves around me. An unseen army of shades and ghostly servants. Always making sure that I never go wanting. Alright. Ooh, this is... Oh, wait. Uh... Ah! Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, no, missed it again. Okay, so I do need to do like a little bit of a jump. Or maybe I need to do it from... There we go. Oh, almost had it. Almost had it. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yes. And then, Stella, there is you. Moorings, but a different kind. You are the only one who understands the sea. That it is not something to be scared of, but a miracle to be celebrated. A reliquary of strange and alien treasures, overwhelming in their otherworldly beauty. Only you can explore this strange world with me. An anchor, a buoy, and a lifeline all at once. Thank you, Stella. Oh, hey. Great. Baby, sir. Oh, I need to find the Overbrook caretaker. Where is he at? Can I get up from here? Yep, there we go. Wow, I can barely recognize this place. It's a good kind of beige now. It's It still is just a hospital. And see, I told you that that vending machine was magic or something. I'm happy and all, but it's super creepy. What? An all-powerful snack dispenser capable of changing the laws of physics? <laughs> you don't find that cr that's creepy? You're right. What am I even saying? That's not possible. I probably just need glasses. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, that's it. I'm just blind now. Overbooked is just totally normal hospital and I can't see properly. I won't question it any longer then. Thank you, I suppose. Alright, so we got that. Uh, let's see if we could check with, uh, our little Daisy one last time. See if she has anything new to say. Huh? Food's pretty good. Don't know what her favorite food is. Apple apples. 
Would she like apples? No, no more. Oh, she's already ate. Alright. Oh, and there's a... I wonder what that is. Maybe a bowl to hold her stuff or maybe something. Alright. Take one last check of the... Weird vending machine. Oh, hey, hey, little guy. Well, is it? Oh, I don't know what you Oh, and we got Radiant Springs. Yeah, I was gonna buy that. You stole my precious Muriel Sticky Toffee. I had my name written on it and everything. Just my luck. Half of the time, they just get stuck coming down the machine because they're so sticky. Oh, I've wasted so much time and effort trying to get that delicious toffee. And you just get it on the first try. No fair. Give it back. Please, please, please. Listen, we can trade for it, okay? I don't need it. Thank you so much. Muriel's sticky toffee is the only thing that soothes my toothaches. Ah, sweet teeth toffee. Oh, and more Radiant Springs. And space sticks. I think we bought everything out. I haven't checked anything, but we could look around one last time, see if anything's changed. Yeah, all all bought, all sold out. Start by going this way. Uh, this area not so different from what it was before. I think there was a oh oh can I yeah I caught it see if there's anything different up here uh nope Anything different for you? All right. So the tower's all gussied up from the first thing. Here, let's check over. Oh, and the trees grown a little bit more out here on this side. Let's see. Uh, not seeing any difference with the main building, but you could just head on to the boat, see if anything triggers from then. Oh yeah, like look at that place back there. It looks so much better than it was, like all the paint on there. Oh, and the trees all blooming over there. All right. Oh, we got a letter. Looter's Literary Review. Oh, let's see. Uh, to our Avengers First Order, but oh. Looter's Literary Review presents its first over Crow's End Ink Lost Bounty. And remember, salt can be a treacherous foe for when you are made of ice. Seeing close our porcelain chart for reference. All right. Interesting. Here, gonna take a quick nap and see if we can wake him up. Like, maybe he was like waiting for something like that. He was talking about like another campaign. See if you could wake him up and see if he has anything to say about that. Oh, there you are. Hey, buddy. Got mail for you. It came. You have to check this out. I subscribed to this magazine a few weeks ago. It's Looter's Literary Review. Hmm. What? Are you kidding me? You don't know what that is? 
It's just the most epic treasure hunting magazine out there. Every issue has a very difficult and fantastical riddle to find the lost treasures of the Crows and Ink Trading Empire. They ferried goods from island to island. Before Raccoon Inc., it became a merchant powerhouse. Crow's End reigned supreme. Of course, Theodore Raccoon started ambushing Crow's End vessels out of pure mercantile spite. Ooh, oof. The company collapsed after a few months of constant attack. Their wreckage still haunts our sea to this day. Entire shipments of valuables were lost at sea and never recovered. Until now! The answer is all here. One Crow's End Inc. treasure chart per issue. That's the promise. The rest of the magazine is articles about living off the land, fighting your dreams when sleeping. It even has ads for crystals and dragon eggs. It's a pretty great magazine. The guy who writes it is called Caspar Crayford. Obviously a pseudonym for security reasons. To protect himself from the fans and Raccoon Inc. Anyway, I just got my first issue. There's an article on secret airwaves that can cook food and... Uh, seconds. Oh, microwaves. I'm going to read that right now. You should take a crack at this issue's radio. I bet it's a hard one. Go ahead. Open it up. Oh, oh wow. Oh, where are you going? What an adventure. And look at that. You got a port portolan chart, which is basically just a pretty looking treasure map. That will help you find the treasure more e easily. It's an old map, so it might not be that easy. You can use it with the projector in the archive room uh, B25I2. Alright, go try it. Alright, I'm going to take a quick look. It is getting late, but I don't, do want to be teased about uh, what's next. Project A. Oh, there we go. A chip. Oh. Oh, and this is the map, so like across the ways from like the icy reef so i'm thinking it's the upper left past the two islands and then look at the map all right commander i can see your dedication to the quest in, of nourishment and oh he's hungry oh in my case it's always the circumference of the red tomatoes of death for every occasion it's my fabulous Absolute favorite fare. That is tomato pizza if you don't get it. Oh yeah, he likes tomato pizza. We can make that for him. But seeing as we're kind of hitting the end of like a lot of different things. Um, kind of went over the time that I set aside for myself. As always, I'm Groot Drip J. I hope you all have a wonderful night. Uh, see you next time. Bye.